close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. The mind is something that has to be made up because lots of opinions. You're like a mother chicken with lots of baby chicks. The chicks are running all around and you're trying to gather them into one spot, a safe spot. When they realize that it's safe and they realize it's a good place to be, then they'll gather. But sometimes it takes a while. But make up your mind you've got to stay here as best you can because you're trying to make your mind its own refuge. There's a principle in, the, in, in Buddhism, atta hyata no nato. The self is its own refuge. And by the self here it means your mind. The problem is if you have lots of minds like this, then it's hard to take refuge in them because they're running all around. And sometimes they can get you in a lot of trouble. I had a student one time who was camping. and His dog went out, went wandering away from the camp, and then came running back. When he came to the camp, he didn't stop at the camp, he kept on running. And then the owner found out why, because the bear was chasing after him. You wander far away and you get into trouble. And then you bring the trouble back. That kind of mind is hard to depend on. You want a mind that stays with things that are good, things that are useful and helpful. You think about what's good in life. Well, what's good in life is the good that you do. There's a principle in the Mangala Sutta, the Tamma Jariyancha. The practice of the Dharma is a blessing. You bless yourself by practicing the Dharma in terms of what you do, what you say, and especially what you think. You try to maintain right view, which is that your happiness, your well-being, is largely a matter of the mind, and it depends on what you do. It's not going to be coming from things outside. Even your body counts as something outside. It's something you've laid claim to, and sometimes it turns on you. So you realize even your body you can't depend on. People outside, even though they may want to help, sometimes they can't help. So you've really got to depend on your own mind, which means that you've got to develop good qualities in the mind. This is why the practice of the Dharma is a blessing, because you create a refuge inside. Like right now, you've got the mind to settle down with the breath. You can think of the word Bhutto, think of the quality of the Buddha was awake. His mind was awake. In the sense that he could see what it was doing and could get control over it. And all too often our thoughts are like, they start out as tools, we use them, but then they turn on us. It's like that Twilight Zone show, where this guy comes home and he finds out that all the appliances and machines in the house have gotten together and they're going to turn on him. In the same way your thoughts, even though they start out from your mind, they can turn on you, make you miserable. So you've got to learn how to get some control over what your mind is thinking. Think about things that will be useful. Think about things that will be helpful. Think about getting the mind concentrated so you can develop a sense of well-being in the mind, regardless of what's happening in the body, what's happening in the world outside. You can still have a sense of well-being inside. When the mind is in good shape like this, then no matter what else happens, the mind doesn't have to suffer. That was the Buddha's discovery. that our Happiness doesn't depend on things outside, it doesn't have to depend on things outside. Even though we'd like things outside to be nice, they're not always going to be that way. So if you want to be independent, you want to have a happiness that you can really trust, it has to be dependent on the mind. So work on developing your mind, work on training the mind, so it doesn't go off looking for trouble. And that really can be something you can depend on.